As we can see today at NetworkX, everything is about fiber everywhere, bringing high-speed broadband technologies to as many homes, businesses, cities as possible. It's all about supporting next-gen applications, and that requires fiber-based access. And within fiber-based access, the most efficient technology is passive optical networking, what we abbreviate is PON. And consequently, everything is around PON, which is an efficient and effective technology to support fiber-based access. Fifty G PON has been standardized by the ITUT, which is the organization that represents operators from around the world. With the standardization of 50G PON, it really helps to bring the ecosystem together from sub-sub components, which most of us have never heard of, like laser drivers, for example, through to the optical equipment like transceivers, BOSES, the solutions, the actual equipment, and the software that's needed to run that equipment and ensure that an operator can efficiently upgrade their network to support higher and higher speed broadband technologies. With 50G PON, bandwidth is no longer a roadblock. It's hard to imagine any technologies, any ap future applications, certainly for the next good amount of time, that will need more than 50G PON when you look at residential services, for example. Even Metaverse can be supported on 50G PON. Consequently, as operators continue to upgrade their fiber-based access networks, 50G PON is truly future-proofing. I believe that we're going to see early deployments of 50G PON in 2024. They'll be small and they'll be primarily pilots, but I expect that we'll see 50G PON out in the field supporting live traffic in 2024. And 50G PON will last us a very, very long time because even, even if Metaverse takes off and you have a family of four and everyone is involved in Metaverse applications, 50G PON will be able to support residential applications on, with enough bandwidth and with latency sensitive uh, capabilities to really meet future requirements.